Hi, and welcome to Heat Software's short video series on endpoint security. I'm Rob Kelsall, and I'm joined by my colleague Rene Gonzalez. And today we're going to be covering a brief session on managing exceptions in patch management. So, oftentimes, Rene, when I'm talking to customers, they will have issues around deploying certain patches. And we saw in a previous session you know, really how easy it was with the Heat solution to manage both third party application updates as well as operating system updates. However, a particular patch may not be able to be deployed for a certain customer, maybe for some application version conflict. So Java, for example, um, the customer may require a particular version of Java for their in-house application and not be able to update that to the latest release. Could you maybe talk about how Heat Software can help customers manage those exceptions? Absolutely. So that is what I call a business risk, where it's a risk that the business is willing to take, and let's pick on Java because that seems to be a more popular one. They cannot update Java because it's going to break an application, which can cost downtime, and downtime can equal lost dollars. So what we're able to do in our interface here is group my computers, and these computers can be based off of Windows class, geography, or department. And then I'm going to ask the security suite to show me all the missing updates from my Windows desktop group as an example. And then I'm going to use a keyword search for Java. So I'm filtering out vulnerabilities that don't include Java in the title. So the security suite is identifying that there's two machines that are applicable to this Java vulnerability. Which means when an auditor comes by and scans the network, they're going to ding my team or IT for not having patched Java. So what IT has to do is document why they can't deploy Java and also ensure that no other administrator is going to deploy Java on these systems. So there's a couple of ways of doing it, but the easiest way here is to select the update and under the taskbar there's an option to do not patch. Okay. Now the do not patch feature allows you to exclude a certain update to an individual computer or a group of computers. And then you have your reason code. Okay, Now you can use our built-in drop-down menu reason codes or you can define your own reason code. Okay, If you have a change control process you can even include that process here as well. But basically once you document why you cannot deploy Java because of a operating system conflict or a Java version conflict, you simply finish it up. Okay. So it's no longer going to show up in your vulnerability list. Um, no other administrators will be able to deploy Java to that group of machines or individual machines. But when you're running a report, you'll be able to automatically document, yeah, we're missing Java, and here's the reason why we can't deploy it. And that can get you past your any type of compliance audits as well, and reduces any downtime, and minimizes any disruption to your end users and the business. Looks good, Rene. I guess in terms of risk mitigation, customers may still be concerned that that hasn't been resolved in their environment. And more commonly, I see these critical vulnerabilities allowing remote code execution. Does Heat offer anything additional to the patch management product that could perhaps um, you know, prevent in-memory attacks? So another good point, so let's say they can't patch Java because it breaks stuff and then there's a known exploit that's targeting Java so it can trick Java into downloading malicious code, right? And let's say it's so new that it's going to get past antivirus, what happens all the time. So with their application control module, you, add, you activate that module on top of the patch management module and then basically when you create your trust policies so IT can trust the known good, anything that's not on the whitelist will not allow to execute. And if it's not allowed to execute, it can never infect the local machine or spread to other network connected computers. So with patch management, you document you cannot patch Java. And then with our application control product, you can protect Java from being exploited or any application that uh, cannot be updated because of software incompatibilities. Because part of the problem that IT faces is, IT needs to find any software incompatibilities before the business does. Thanks, Rene. And I'm sure we'll get into a bit more detail on the application control module Absolutely. in it's just future session. Absolutely. Well, thanks for joining us, and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next session.